forget to subscribe! <laughs> it looks like the friends are going to Loopy's house. <laughs> Loopy, we're here! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Strange, Loopy's not home. Let's just wait for her. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Cookie dough and cookie cutters? Oh, I know. Hey guys, listen. How about we make cookies for Loopy this time? Because Loopy makes yummy things for us all the time. <laughs> I'm all for it. Hmm, it sounds like fun. Yeah. <laughs> Loopy has returned. <laughs> oh my, what happened to you guys? <laughs> it's no biggie, but we all wanted to make cookies for you today. I'm touched. Thank you so much. The shapes are so pretty. Uh -oh. But, um, who made this one? Huh? It's me. This sounds like a problem for me, Clever Eddie. Problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> okay. Let's look at the cookies everyone made. There are circle, triangle, square, heart, and star-shaped cookies. Now, let's look at all the different cookie cutter shapes that everyone used. Kororo and Krong used a circle-shaped cutter. <laughs> Poby and Harry used a triangle-shaped cutter. And Rody and I used a square-shaped cutter. <laughs> That leaves us with Petty and Tong Tong. Petty used a heart-shaped cutter, huh? and Tong Tong used a star-shaped huh? one. Hmm. So since the burnt cookie huh? is star-shaped, the one who made it must have been hmm. Tong Tong. Huh? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, let's review with a fun song. Time for the shape song. Yeah! If you use a circle cutter. Roly poly circle shaped cookies. <laughs> if you use a triangle cutter, pointy pointy triangle shaped cookies. If you use a square cutter, sturdy sturdy square shaped cookies. If you use a heart cutter, lovely lovely heart shaped cookies. If you use a star cutter. Twinkle, twinkle, star-shaped cookies. Wow, yummy! <laughs> hey guys, now that we've eaten, let's play a simple game. You just have to look around and find things that have a similar shape to the shapes we learned. Circle, triangle, square, heart, and last but not least, star! Wow, that sounds fun! <laughs> I wanna play! <laughs> Okay, get ready, go! <laughs> oh, Eddie, this clock is circle shaped. Triangle. I found squares. <laughs> we found heart pillows. Excellent. 
Now we just have to find a star. Huh? Oh no, I'm the last one left. Uh, star shape. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> stars! I found stars! <laughs> Tong Tong has finally found some stars. <laughs> now, let's huh? sing about our game. Time for the shape song! Yeah! yeah. Roly poly, what has a circle shape? Whoa. Ah, circle shape clock! <laughs> pointy pointy, what has a triangle shape? Ground! Triangle sandwich! Sturdy sturdy, what has a square shape? Aha! Uh -huh. Sturdy square books! Lovely, lovely, what has a heart shape? Oh, heart-shaped pillows! Twinkle, twinkle, what has a star yeah, shape? Like yeah. I found many <laughs> I found stars! Many stars. <laughs> wow, this was so much fun! <laughs> Decorate the Christmas tree! It's almost Christmas. And the friends have gathered to decorate the tree. <laughs> what are we going to decorate it with? Why don't we cut cute uh -huh. shapes out of colored paper? Uh -huh. That's a great idea! Yeah. <laughs> the friends are busy cutting out colored paper to decorate the tree. Snip! <laughs> what is that? A potato? <laughs> Heart! <laughs> you call that a heart? <laughs> I'll show you what a real heart looks like. Ta-da! Wow, pretty! How is it so perfect? <laughs> I'll teach you guys. Problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> okay. I'll teach you all how to cut out the perfect heart. First, fold the paper in half. Then draw only half a heart by the fold and cut it out. Hold on, scissors are sharp, so you must use them carefully. <laughs> when done cutting, unfold it. Ta-da! You just made a beautiful heart. Wow, it really is a heart shape. Now, let's find out how this was done. If you fold the paper, cut and unfold it, the same shape is formed on the other side. Oh! Okay, guys, wanna play a guessing game? Sure! <laughs> now, try and guess what this would be unfolded. What is that? Hmm. I'll give you a hint. Me, I'm the hint. Huh, it's Eddie's face! face? Let's unfold it. Correct! You are right! <laughs> Eddie, do another one! Yes, please! Okay, try and guess what this one is. Cut it out and... What would this be unfolded? Um, this is hard. Tree! Is it a tree? Correct! It's a Christmas tree! Wow! <laughs> the friends decorated the tree with their colored paper cutouts. We're all done! <laughs> the cutouts are pretty, but the tree looks bare! Bear. Hey guys, then why don't we hang cards with drawings on them? Sounds good! <laughs> ah. <clears throat> drawings? In that case, I'll teach you an easy paper folding method to make pretty pictures. Now, follow me. <laughs> I'll use the heart again as an example. Paint just half a heart on one side of the card. Then, before the paint dries, fold in half and press. Unfold. Ta-da! You get a perfect heart. Wow, amazing! <laughs> it's no big deal. Ha! Just like the cutouts, the same drawing is formed on the other side. Let's make some cards! Okay! Okay, why don't we see what everyone painted? We chose to paint half moons! After folding and pressing, ta-da! They're, They're full moons, moons now! <laughs> we painted a triangle! Then fold and press, now, now it's, it's a butterfly. butterfly! We made buses! 
Now fold and press. Ta da! It's a train! Wow! <laughs> you all made wonderful cards! Please, Please this, this is, is nothing! nothing. Huh. Great! Let's review what we learned through a song! Time to make cutouts! Time to make cutouts! Fold the paper in half, cut it out! What is it? Ta da! It's a yummy apple! <laughs> Fold the paper in half, cut it out! What is it? Ta da! It's Eddie's cute face! <laughs> We painted a half moon, folded it, opened it. Ta da! It became a full moon! <laughs> we painted a triangle, folded it, opened it. Ta da! It became a pretty butterfly! Ooh. We painted a bus, folded it, opened it. Ta da! It became a train! <laughs> choo choo! This is the last one! Pororo and his friends are on the playground. Let's see what they're up to. Oh, the seesaw won't even budge. Poor me, it's because you're too heavy. Uh, I'm sorry. Huh? Huh? What's that? Huh? Huh? Those are your clothes. Oh, oh, they're heading oh, this way. Let's get out. Oh, oh, oh. Why did you get up so suddenly? I'm sorry. We're here. We're so excited. Oh, it's Popo and Bippy. Look, look, look. Wait, wait, wait. Hi, Popo. Hi, Bippy. Hey. Hi. It's been a long time. It's nice to see everyone again. Anyways, what is all that? All of that. Come on, everyone! <laughs> There's so many of them! How many are there? How many? We will tell you! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa, they wow. counted to ten! There must be ten of them! They look so great standing in line! <laughs> we look great! We'll show you something better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow! They all seem to be hungry. Come over to my house. I'll whip up something delicious. <laughs> All the aliens from outer space went to Loopy's house. Wait here for a minute. <laughs> it's time to make some delicious pie. All right. How many pies should I make for our alien friends? I don't know. I have no idea. I'll tell you how many. <laughs> problem. If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. The smartest boss around. My name is Eddie. First, we'll count the aliens one more time. <laughs> one little, two little, three little aliens. Four little, five little, six little aliens. Seven little, eight little, nine little aliens. Ten little aliens from space. There's ten. There are ten aliens. In all. So, how many pies will we need? I'll solve this problem. Okay. One pie, two pies, three delicious pies, four pies, five pies, six delicious pies, seven pies, eight pies, nine delicious pies. We'll need ten pies in all. So, that's ten. Uh, so, we'll need ten pies to feed all the aliens. Uh, I see. Um, Eddie is such a clever fox. Ahem. <laughs> now that I've shaped ten pies with dough, I'll put them in the oven. <laughs> now this will just take a minute. Why don't we sing the song one more time as we wait? <laughs> <laughs> The aliens 
from outer space ate all of Luffy's delicious pies. The pies must have been delicious. Yeah, of course. I'm a great cook. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for the aliens to go home. See you later. Okay, come back. Uh -huh. Bye -bye. Goodbyes are always sad, but I'm sure they'll meet again someday. Goodbye, everyone. Find the red car. There's Pororo's house. What are Pororo and Krong up to today? <laughs> it looks like Krong is sleeping. decided to visit Pororo. Pororo! Come on inside! Hello! Hello. Huh? What are you doing? Krong seems to have lost his toy car. We have no idea where it is. Um, really? I'll help you find it. Really? <laughs> problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can solve. Find where it is. Eddie, is this it? Nope, that's an airplane. Then how about this? That's not it either. Jeez, I'll have to tell you what a car is first. Airplanes fly through the sky, and boats float on the water. But cars have wheels, and they drive around on land. Now you got it? Put on. Huh? <laughs> 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 Krung looks a little gloomy today. That's because he lost his red toy car and can't find huh? it. I see. Then let's find it together. <laughs> Here it is, a taxi. Where's a bus? Is this it? I found a truck. I found a car too. Same here. Me too. <laughs> I'll have to tell them the color. The taxi is yellow, so are stars. to find the red car, I'll try looking for it. There. there, I found it. Here is the red car. Wow. Here you go, Krong. That was excellent. <laughs> it was as easy as pie. Now, why don't we go over what we just learned? The taxi is yellow, so are stars. Call. 
Clever Fox makes mistakes. Find the baby's mother. Ororo Krong and Eddie have come to Tong Tong's house to visit. Tong Tong! Ah. <laughs> Hello! Huh? What a nice surprise! Uh, what are you doing? Uh, me? I'm trying a fun new magic spell Whoa. right now. Uh, uh. Oh no! My potion! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! It worked! What worked, Tong Tong? I made a magic potion that could make things in picture books come alive. See? It's an animal from that book! Huh? <laughs> it must be a baby. I think it's looking for its mother. Don't worry. I can return the baby to its mother in the picture book. What's the matter? Huh? There are different animals on every page. I'm not sure where to return it to. So, you don't know which animal is its mother? Then just leave it to me, Eddie the Clever Fox. Problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is Eddie! Let's all go inside the picture book to find the baby animal's mother. Uh -huh. Sound good. Work your magic, Tong Tong. Yeah. Hocus Pocus Tong Tong. Oh. Hocus Pocus Tong Tong. Inside we go. Oh. 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 By the ocean. Whoa. Wow. Oh. Hey, look. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Are you this baby's what? mother? Oh. Oh. You're oh. not? Hmm. I guess it's not the mother. I'll tell huh? you why. This mammal is called a dolphin. The dolphin is an animal that lives in the water. It can swim well because on its back, tummy, and tail, it has cool fins. Oh. But the baby animal doesn't have fins. Instead, it has four legs. So that's why the dolphin isn't this baby animal's mother. Oh, a dolphin. Oh. A baby dolphin. Cheer up. We'll find your mother. Don't worry. Now, let's go to a different page. Okay. <laughs> we must be in a jungle. I don't see any animals. Huh? Huh? Wow, look up there. It's so colorful. Hello. Are you this baby's mother? I guess not. Do you want to know why not? That animal is called a parrot. It's a bird, and birds have wings so they can fly. And parrots usually have bright, colorful feathers, like this one. But the baby animal doesn't have wings, nor colorful feathers. So that's why the parrot isn't the baby's mother. I see. Uh, this is the savanna. Huh? <laughs> Yay, we found her! <laughs> Yes, we finally found the baby's mother. This animal is a baby lion. The lion lives and hunts in grasslands. It hunts with its giant paws and sharp teeth. I'm glad we found its mother. What do you say we head back home? Goodbye! <laughs> now, let's review what we learned with a song. It has fast and nimble fins, nimble body. In the water splash. Guess what animal it is? <laughs> Dolphin. <laughs> it has bright, colorful wings like pretty feathers. In the sky, flap, flap. Guess what animal it is? <laughs> A parrot. <laughs> it has sharp and pointy.
pointy teeth, speedy paws, a grassland hunter. Guess what animal it is? Aha! Lion! That was fun! Bye, friends! See you all next time! Goodbye! Bye! Animal puzzles! It's early in the morning, and the friends are heading to Poby's to play. Poby, Harry, we came to play! <laughs> Ooh, hi, guys. Come on in! What were you doing? Poby and I just finished an animal puzzle! Animal puzzle? Uh -huh. Wow, so, so cool! <laughs> <laughs> they look <Wow>. real! <laughs> Thanks. So, do you know the names of these animals? Names? Huh? Well, uh... I'll tell you their names. The first animal is a sheep. The second one is a zebra. The third one is a hedgehog. And the fourth one is a crocodile. Oh, oh. I want a closer oh. look. Oh. 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 Krong, oh. I read it first. Krong, oh. oh. Oh dear, they ruined the puzzles. Hey guys, are you all right? Yeah. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Look what happened. We worked hard on them. We're sorry, Harry. How can we fix them? Ah, don't worry, guys. I'll help you put them back together. Problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> okay, let's put the puzzles back together. The first animal is a sheep. Sheep have fluffy white wool. So, out of these four pieces, the one that the sheep is missing is the piece with the white wool. The second animal is the zebra. Zebras have black stripes. So the piece that the zebra is missing is the one with the black stripes. The third animal is the hedgehog. Hedgehogs have thin pointy quills. So the piece that the hedgehog is missing is the one with pointy quills. The fourth and last animal is the crocodile. Crocodiles have hard, bumpy skin. So the piece that the crocodile is missing is the one with bumpy, lumpy skin. Wow! The puzzles are complete again. Ah, hey guys, do you want to use these puzzles to play the find what's out of place game? Find what's out of place? <laughs> Sounds fun! <laughs> <laughs> All righty, it's time to start the game. As the animals come on the screen, all you have to do is say what's out of place. This is a hedgehog. What's out of place? Wow, it's so cute. Ah, the hedgehog's wearing the sheep's wool. Let's see the answer. You're correct. Instead of fluffy white sheep's wool, hedgehogs have pointy quills. Next, we have a crocodile. What's out of place? Oh, it's scary. Ah, the crocodile has quills like a hedgehog. Let's see the answer. You're correct. Instead of quills, crocodiles have bumpy, lumpy skin. Good job, everyone. Now, let's review what we learned with a song. It's time for a fun... Goes the sheep, what does it have? What does it have? Aha! It has fluffy white wool! Wow, so cute! Trot, trot, goes the zebra, what does it have? What does it have? Aha! It has black stripes! Wow, so cool! Roll, roll, goes the hedgehog. What does it have? What does it have? Aha! Uh -huh. It has sharp, pointy quills. <laughs> so fun! Growl, goes the crocodile. What does it have? 
What does it have? Aha! Uh -huh. It has lumpy, bumpy skin. Wow! So fierce! You all did great! Goodbye! <laughs> Who am I? Pororo and his friends are playing hide and go seek. Eddie is it. Here I come! Okay. Hey! Huh? Uh, uh, oh, he's coming this way! Where could they be? Huh? Come out, Pororo and Krong! I see you hiding behind the post. How did he find us? I can tell who it is just by your tail. What? Oh. Hey, Poby and Harry! I can see you hiding up there! How did he find us? Rody, you get up as well! Uh. 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 Found you! Oh, he found us! <laughs> Now that I've found you all, let's start over again. Huh? Anyways, Eddie, how did you manage to find us so quickly? That's easy. Huh? That was amazing. Tell us how. <laughs> you want me huh? to tell you? Okay. <laughs> problem. If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right. I'm the smartest boss around. My name is Eddie. Oh, where are we? Going to begin hide and go seek. Hide and go seek? Sounds fun. Let's do it. <laughs> this is a triangle. Who do you think is hiding behind the triangle? <laughs> I'll give you some examples. One, Petty. Two, Pororo. Three, Poby. Pororo. Shall we take a look? There. Oh my, you're wrong. So, who could it be? Peekaboo! <laughs> it's Poby! Wow, that's amazing! <laughs> this is a square. Who do you think is hiding behind the square? Here are some examples. One, Pororo. Two, Petty. Three, Loopy. Petty! <laughs> it's Petty? Let's take a look. There. You're wrong. So, who could it be? It's Loopy! Oh. Now, this is a circle. Who do you think is hiding behind the circle? One, Pororo. Two, Tong Tong. Three, Rody. The answer is Pororo! You think it's Pororo? Let's take a look. If you remove the circle... Correct! Right. It's Pororo! <laughs> this is a heart. Who could be hiding behind the heart? One, Petty. Two, Poby. Three, Eddie. The answer is Petty! <laughs> you think it's Petty? Let's take a look. Peekaboo! Correct! It's Petty! <laughs> I got one right here! This is a star! Who could be hiding behind the star? One, Pororo. Two, Rody. Three, Loopy. The answer is... <laughs> Rody! <laughs> Correct! It's Rody! Oh, you're right! <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. Now, why don't we all sing the Hide and Go Seek song? Okay! okay. <laughs> Who could be hiding behind the triangle? Peekaboo, it's Poby, the kind bear. Who could be hiding behind the rectangle? Peekaboo, it's Loopy, the shy bear.
<laughs> you still did great today, Eddie. <laughs> what is it? Eddie wants to show us something fun. Why don't we pay him a visit? Hello! I'm your friend, Eddie the Clever Fox! <laughs> Today, we'll play the shadow game! <laughs> What's the shadow game? You have to look at the shadow and try to figure out what the shadow is from. Let's give it a try. Now, what do you think this is? What's that? I can't tell what it is. You can't tell what it is? Okay, then I'll show you another shadow. What does this shadow belong to? Oh. Hmm, you still can't tell what it is? Fine, I'll show you one more shadow. Now do you know? Hmm, I still can't tell. We can't tell anything just from the shadow. You can't tell what it is? Fine! Problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! Everyone, what's this? It's a car! <laughs> That's right! Now we'll shine a light at the car and look at its shadow. If you shine a light at the side of the car, this is the shadow you'll get. That's, That's right. right! But if you shine a light at the front of the car, this is the shadow you get. And if you shine a light from the top, this is the shadow. Wow! <laughs> In other words, the shadow will be different depending on which side you shine the light. Okay! Eddie, can you show us the shadow you showed the first time? Okay, I'll give you another chance. <laughs> hmm. I know, it's a kettle. A kettle? Shall we take a look? Bingo, that's right. Wow, wow. Harry, that's great. <laughs> it was a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. oh, let's try that again. Mm. Want to play again? Okay. <laughs> what do you think this is? Hmm. Oh, a whale? Yeah. A whale? No, you're wrong. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> is it too difficult? Then I'll show you some more shadows. What could this be? Oh, it's an airplane! Huh? Uh, let's take a look. You're right! <laughs> I'll give you another question. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> this one's a bit tricky. Hmm. What can it be? Eddie, can you show hmm. us another shadow? Hmm. I can't give you any more hints this time. How do they know? It was easy. <laughs> oh, you're all very good. Eddie, oh. let's try that again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's right. 
The shadow game is very fun. Why don't you try it too? Find the opposite! The friends are shoveling the snow that fell overnight. Heave ho! Yay! We're all finished! <laughs> <laughs> Chores are easier when you work together. They are! Hmm, oh boy, what should we do with all this snow? Ah! Hey guys, wanna make snowmen with the snow? Make snowmen? Yeah, we each make a snowman that looks like us. Fun, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Me cool. too. Run, run. Ready, set, go! Yay! <laughs> the friends have finished making their snowmen. Wow, everyone did a great job! I put cool sunglasses on mine. It was good! <laughs> I'll put the sunglasses back on, okay? Uh, there. <laughs> hey, guys, look at Poby mm -hmm. and Harry's. They're so different in size. Huh? <laughs> Poby and Harry? You're right. They're the opposite. Uh, what? Huh? The opposite? What does uh, that huh? mean? You don't know the meaning? Mm -hmm. Then I, Eddie the Clever Fox, will tell uh -huh. you. Problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> wow. wow! Let's begin! Here are Poby and Harry's snowmen. Poby's snowman is very big. Wow, it is! Harry's snowman is very small. It is small! The opposite of big is small. So, Poby is big. The opposite, Harry, is small. Is it still unclear? Another example, then. Here are two different colored ribbons. The red ribbon is very long. The blue ribbon is very short. The opposite of long is short. So, red ribbon is long. The opposite, blue ribbon, is short. Oh. Do you get it now? Yes! Oh, my hands are freezing from touching all that snow. I'm cold. Okay, let's go back outside. <clears throat> hey, wanna come inside and have some milk? I'll heat it up and make it warm. Really? Okay! <laughs> Pororo <laughs> has warmed up some milk for his friends. Here, enjoy! Wow, thank you, Pororo! Mm. It's nice and warm. Now my body feels warm, too. <laughs> Grr -grr 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 it's cold. Mm, sorry, Krum. I must have forgotten to heat your zah. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Krong's cold milk and my warm milk are opposites. Oh, milk can have opposites too? Mm, can it? Oh, of course! Wow, wow. interesting! Uh, Tell us okay. more, Eddie. Mm, you guys want to know more? Okay, huh. oh. <sighs> Hmm. Please pay attention. Here are Bororo and Krong's glasses of milk. Oh, it's so warm! The opposite of warm is cold. So, Bororo's milk is warm. The opposite, Krong's milk is cold. Do you all understand? Wow! Huh? You're so clever, Eddie. Yeah. Stop, I'm blushing. Now, let's all review what we learned with a song. Find, find, let's all find, find the opposite. <laughs> Snowman is very big. Harry Snowman is very small. Uh huh. Big and small are opposites. The red ribbon is very long. The blue ribbon is very short. Long and short are opposites. Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs>
Finding opposites is fun. Try and find some today. Where is it? Some of the friends are making their way over to Eddie's. Rody, pass the screwdriver. Sure. Here. Thanks. Eddie! Eddie. Huh? Hi, Eddie. Hi, Rody. Hello. What are you guys doing? We're working on a yeah. new sled. <laughs> but you already have a sled. Why do you need two? Yeah, why? This isn't your average sled. You can drive it like a car on the snow, and it can even go uphill. Woohoo! Wow! Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing, really. Do you need uh, any help? Yeah, Eddie, just say the word. Um, then can you get me my blueprint and toolbox from my house? No problem. <laughs> oh, hold on. Where in your house? Oh, they're on my shelves. Above on the right is the blueprint, and below on the left is the toolbox. Got it! Out of two. Where are the shelves? Bingo! What did Eddie say again? Um, the blueprint is above on the right, and the toolbox is below on the left. Right, left? Oh, this is confusing. Oh. Let's just take everything to him. Okay. This needs to be tightened. Eddie! Yeah? Ah! Uh, 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 there. Here you go. But this is everything on my show. <laughs> we were confused, so we brought it all. That's right. right. Confusing. Right, left, above, below. Those are confusing? Then I'll explain them to you. Problem. If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right. I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> <laughs> now, let's first learn right, left with a simple exercise. I want you to stick both hands out in front of you. Stick our hands out? Like this? This is how it looks from your point of view. Then, this is your right hand. And this is your left hand. Your red hand side is the right. And your blue hand is the left side. Right side, left side? I'll give you an example. Rody. Me. If Rody's facing front, then the red side is right. And the blue side is left. Uh, this side is right. Uh, this side is left. And now it's Bororo's turn. Sandwiches and cookies are in front of you. Which one of them is on your right? Oh, oh, s sandwiches? Correct! Oh, yay! Then cookies on the left. Good job. Next, what object is on your right side, Krong? Krong, bling. Correct! <laughs> and your left? Oh, and Krong! Good, Good job, Krong! Krong, Krong. Krong. <laughs> All right. Above, uh -huh. below. Want to learn them next? Sure. <laughs> the position closer to the sky is above. The position closer to the ground is below. I'll give you an example. Loopy and Petty are on the seesaw. Hmm. Now stop. Petty is higher, so she's above. Loopy is lower, so she's below. Oh. Oh. Okay, oh. let's review with a song! Sounds, Sounds good! good.
Bye. See you next time. Big and small. Pororo and his friends are making a snowman. Meanwhile, Loopy has baked buns for her friends. Uh, I'm done. Huh? The buns are all different sizes. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Yeah, fantastic job. Guys! Huh? It's time to eat. Wow! Let's eat! <laughs> now I'll hand out the bread. Obi? Thank you. Oh, that looks delicious. Here, Harry. Here's yours, Bottle. Thanks, Loopy. Mm -hmm. Next. Loopy! Huh? Why is Poby's bun bigger than my bun? That's because Poby is a lot bigger than you. He's bigger than me? What do you mean? What I mean is... Hmm, how do I explain this? Loopy? Huh? Eddie the Clever Fox will explain it to him. <laughs> now take a look. There are two apples here. As you can see, the apples are the same size. But the apple and the watermelon are different in size. The apple is smaller than the watermelon. The watermelon is bigger than the apple. Harry and Poby are also different in size. Harry is smaller than Poby. Poby is bigger than Harry. Harry is small, so he gets a small bun. Poby is big, so he gets a big bun. I see. Huh? But Pororo's bun is also bigger than mine. Oh, let me tell you why. Take a look. <laughs> If you compare Pororo and Harry, Harry is small and Pororo is big. But if you compare Pororo with Poby, Pororo is small and Poby is big. Of Harry, Pororo and Poby, Poby is the biggest. Pororo is the second biggest and Harry is the smallest. That's why Poby's bun's the biggest. Pororo's bun is the second biggest and Harry's bun is the smallest. I understand. Oh, so I'll always receive the smallest bun. Harry? Yes? I'll give you some of my bread. Here. <gasps> Thanks, Poby. You're a really good friend. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> you guys? Huh? Let's eat the bread quickly and go play. We can play something even more fun next. Really? Huh? Let's <laughs> see. <laughs> After they eat their bread, Pororo and his friends go to a frozen lake. What game are we going to play? We'll race from here, over the hill, and to huh? the playground. Oh. Whoever reaches the playground first wins. But I'm hmm? slow. You can take a sled or skates. Really? So we can ride anything we want in order to get there quickly? That's right. <laughs> then we're going to win. <laughs> you think? Okay. Get ready, go! See you later! <laughs> Poby is faster than Loopy. <gasps> now to run up the hill! <laughs> I'm faster than you! But Petty is even faster than Poby. <laughs> Harry is faster than Pororo and his sled. Wow! I can see the playground! I win the race! Don't be so sure! Eddie and his rocket are faster than Harry. I win! I'm in second place! We're in third place! I'm in fourth place! I'm in fifth place! I'm in sixth place! The winner is... Eddie the Clever Fox! Congratulations, Eddie! This is the winner! Thank you! Anyway, what did you give me? What? Wow, uh, strawberries! Uh, 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 uh. Wow, a delicious strawberry! What's bigger than a strawberry? An, an apple. apple! What's bigger than an apple? A, a watermelon. watermelon! What's bigger than a watermelon? Bobby! Wow, wow it's Bobby! Bobby. <laughs> What's faster than Bobby?
the seesaw. Hey. That looks fun. <laughs> huh? Would you like to try it? Yeah. I'll get on too. I suddenly went up. Hold on. I'll get us down. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're not even budging. Hold on. Huh? We'll get you down. Good idea. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, I got that. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? Huh? I'll explain. Huh? Problem. If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right. I'm the smartest boss. That's because Poby is heavier than Tong Tong. Poby is heavier than me? Uh -huh. That's right. Take a look. Two same cars will have the same weight. But a truck will be heavier than a car. If you compare Tong Tong and Poby in the same way, you'll find that Poby is heavier. So that's it. I'll have to get off for the seesaw to move. Uh-huh. There's no need. Huh? Poby doesn't have to get off for the seesaw to move. If Loopy and Petty get on Tong Tong's oh. side, the seesaw will move again. <laughs> so, shall we get on as well? Yes. <laughs> I'm on too. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we learn about heavy and light? <laughs> Oh, I'll go get some wood. I'll go with you. Me too, me too. <laughs> okay, but to make another seesaw, we'll need a log that's as long as this one. <sighs> one that's as long as this seesaw? Oh, but how will we know that? Don't worry. Problem. If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right. I'm the smartest boss around. Length is the distance from one end to the other. A pencil is longer than a crayon, and a crayon is shorter than a pencil. Here's a spoon, and this is a ladle. If you compare them, the ladle is longer than the spoon, and the spoon is shorter than the ladle. Also, a bus is longer than a car, and a train is longer than a bus. How will we know if the log is as long as the seesaw? You can measure it with a ruler. <laughs> a ruler? <laughs> Let's measure it. One, two, three, four, five. That means that five rulers equal the length of the seesaw. I see. Huh? Let me borrow this. I'll go get the log right away. Yo! Oh, wow! He's fast. The log. Good work, Rody. Now I'll make the seesaw. Okay. You came back really fast. Uh, that was a piece of cake. <laughs> you guys, huh? I finished making the seesaw. Wow! Yes! Now, why don't we all sing a song? <laughs> a pencil is longer than a crayon. A crayon is shorter. A banana. is a very clever fox. But it's nothing. We'll see you next time. <laughs> sort and group. 
The sun is up. But Bororo and Krong are still sleeping. That's right. Everyone's coming over to play today. Aww. Ah! The place is a total mess! <laughs> Krong, wake up! Our friends will be here soon, but look at the room! Uh, let's clean up before they come. <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> quick, quick, quick! We did it! Hi, guys, we're here! <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> Where do you want to play today? Let's build a castle with blocks! <laughs> Sounds <Yeah>. fun! <laughs> okay, then I'll go get the blocks. Yeah. I'll help you! <laughs> they should be in the toy box, right? So? Yeah. <laughs> it's full of everything except mm -hmm. toys! You're right! Huh? But I don't. Come oh. over here! What is it? Uh, your blocks aren't in the toy uh, box. Uh, what? Uh, oh, uh oh. <laughs> do you mind if we do something else? I know. Let's read a book. Sound good? Okay. okay. Where do you keep your books? Oh, on your bookshelf, right? <laughs> oh. I don't see any books. Where are all your books, Pororo? They're supposed to be on the shelf. I'm sorry. Don't be. Huh? It can't be helped. It's okay. <sighs> I know they're somewhere in here, but it's so hard to find things sometimes. I will tell you why it's hard for you to find things. Problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> First, let's find where your belongings actually are. The first place we'll look is inside your drawers. Tisk, tisk, tisk. What are my books doing in there? <laughs> now the fridge. Mm. Ah, my blocks! Why are they in my fridge? This time, let's check inside the toy box. No toys. It's full of other things. If you keep different kinds of objects all mixed up, then it'll be hard to find what you need. Uh, Eddie, can you help us, please? <laughs> sure. I'll teach you how to organize your belongings. Sort similar things into separate groups, then finding them will be easy. What, what does similar mean? mean? Similar means that things are alike or have traits that are the same. Now, let's practice with a problem. A star cookie, a square cookie, a round cookie, and a toy robot. Question, what's not similar? Me! Me! Oh. The toy oh. robot is not oh. similar. That's correct. Congrats! The star, round, and square cookies are similar because they all belong to the same cookie group. Here, enjoy The toy robot belongs to the toy group, so it's different. Time for the next problem. Bororo's jumpsuit, Petty's dress, Loopy's dress, and Poby's camera. Question, what's not similar? Oh, my camera isn't similar. That's correct. Wow. <laughs> Bororo, Loopy, and Petty's outfits all belong to the same clothes group. But the camera isn't clothes, so it belongs to a different group. <laughs> Sort clothes with clothes, books with books, food with food. If you sort all your belongings into separate groups of similar items, it'll make finding things easy. Wanna organize Bororo's house using what we just learned? Sounds fun! Sort, sort, group, group. Sorting, grouping, things that are alike. Let's go! <laughs> sort food and put them together in one group. One, two, three. <laughs> sort toys and put them together in one group. One, two, three. <laughs> sort clothes and put them together in one group. Sort books and put them together in one group. <laughs> wow, we're all done. <laughs> Playing with numbers. 
<laughs> the friends are heading to Eddie's house. Bye, Eddie. Bye, guys. <laughs> What are you doing with that die? Oh, this? I was playing toss the die with Rody. Toss the die? Sounds fun. <laughs> Let's play together. How do you play? Yeah. Well, just toss the die, and if you get a high number, you win. Get a low number, you lose. High number, low number? How do we know? I'll tell you how. Problem. If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> okay, let's see what makes a number high or low. Here, we have the numbers 1 to 10. The more blocks a number has, the higher it is. The fewer blocks the number has, the lower it is. For example, five has more blocks than one, so five is higher. And one has fewer blocks than five, so one is lower. Do you get it now? Yeah! yeah. Great! Why don't we play the game now? But only two can play at a time. Me! Hey, hey, me! I want to play too! <laughs> okay, Bororo and Petty will be the first to toss the die. Round one, Petty, please toss the die. Okay. <laughs> Petty rolled the number two. Two means one, two, two blocks. Oh, I only got two. <laughs> oh, now my turn. <laughs> one means one block. That's lower. Because two has more blocks than one, Petty is the winner! Yippee! <laughs> <sighs> hey, Eddie, do you have another game? Yeah, Eddie. Something fun that we can play all together! Yeah. Another game? Um, I've got it! Whoa! Welcome to Number Survival! Let's start the game! Number Survival? How do we play? Well, just look at the screen. Once the game starts, a number will appear on either side of you. Listen to the question and stand under the number that's the right answer. But for this game, you must answer correctly to survive and keep playing. Now, the first question. Between four and five, which is the higher number? Which is higher? Not sure. Ah, uh, it's this way. <laughs> Wait for me. Kobe, yeah? I think this number's right. Okay. Great. Let's find out what the answer is. The number four has four blocks, and five has five blocks. As you can see, five has one more block. So the higher number between four and five is five. Oh. 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 <laughs> we survived. <laughs> Sorry, Poby. It's okay. Now, question number two. Between oh. seven and nine, which is the lower number? Which is lower? Mm. Ah, I know. It's this ah. way. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me. Oh, Krong, come on. Krong, you long Krong. Krong has chosen the number seven. Great. Let's find out what the answer is. The number seven has seven blocks, and nine has nine blocks. As you can see, seven has two fewer blocks than nine. So, the lower number is seven. And the ultimate survivor is... Krong! Krong wins! Krong! 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 Okay, everyone, let's review what we learned with a song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Toss! Petty got two. Bororo got one. Uh huh. Two is higher. Higher is two. Ah, oh, so close! <laughs> Harry chose nine. Poby chose seven. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> See you all next time! Bye! Same and different. 
Kororo and Krong are playing with a ball on the playground. I got it. Hello. I'm here too. Hi. Rolly, could you kick the ball to me? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute! Oh. <laughs> Rody, kick the ball to me first! You want me to kick it to you? That's right! Kick it hard! Hard? Oh, I understand. You guys! Hello! Everybody is here! Were you playing soccer? Let us join you. Okay, all right with you. Uh, soccer? Uh, 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 oh, oh, not a good idea. Oh, I know an even better game than that. An even better game? What's that? First, we'll have to go to the stage. The same and different game. The same and different game? Oh. Now I'll give you the first question. There's a white ball, a yellow ball, and a blue ball. And there's also a die. So what has a different shape? What has a different shape? I don't know. What could it be? Hmm. I'll tell you the answer. The white ball, yellow ball, and blue ball are round. But the die is a square. That's why the die is different than the balls. Oh, so that's it. Now, here's the next question. Of the red car, yellow car, white car, and blue boat, which one goes in a different place? Mm, I know! Mm -hmm. The red car, yellow car, and white car all drive on land. But the blue boat can't drive on land. On the other hand, the boat can float on water. But the cars can't float on the water. That's why the boat and the cars go in different places. Oh. Bingo, you're right. Now, I'll give the question this time. Of these fish, which fish has a different color? Mm. Oh, I know! The fish with the big mouth, the sleepy fish, and the scary fish are red. While the fish with the large eyes is blue. So the fish with the large eyes is different. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> okay, now I'll give the next question. Of the duck, rooster, puppy, and ostrich, which one has a different number of legs? Oh, me! Harry was a little faster, so let's let him answer the question. Wow! <laughs> the duck has one, two, two legs. The rooster has one, two, two legs. The ostrich has one, two, two legs. But the puppy has... Uh, uh, let's let Krong answer this. <laughs> the puppy has one, two, three, four, four legs. That's right. The puppy has four legs. <laughs> now, why don't we sing a song about what we learned? The white ball, yellow ball, and blue ball are all around. But the die is square, so it has a different shape. That's right! The red
It's a beautiful day. What are Pororo and Krong up to? Vroom, 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 vroom. Krong, Krong, could you roll the car to me? Krong, 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 Krong. What? <laughs> Something the matter? Pororo says that he has more cars than you? Hmm, I see. Here you go. It's a toy car. Krong had one, one car. But now that he has one more, he has one, two, two cars. So now, Pororo has two cars, and so does Krong. So you both have the same amount. You happy, Krong? <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> All right, I found another car. Krong has two cars, but I have one more car. So now I have one, two, three, three cars. Now I have one more car than Krong. I have four cars. <laughs> huh? Hello. Huh? You're here too, Eddie. Anyways, what's wrong with those two? Ooh, they're fighting about who has more cars. Will you two stop fighting? I brought some yummy cookies to eat with you. Cookies? Loopy, the thing is... Now I'll give you the cookies. Wow. These are for Pororo. Wow. They look delicious. These are for Krong. Uh -huh. oh. Krong, Krong. Yeah. Oh. I have one, two, two cookies. Krong has one, two, three, four, four cookies. That means Krong has two more cookies than me. Loop B, huh? I want four cookies like Krong. Uh, then how many more should I give you? Two more. Okay. Here. I'll give you one more crumb. Oh. Now, huh? wait a minute. Now I have two plus two cookies, which makes four in all. But Krong has four plus one cookies, so he has five cookies in all. That means that Krong still has one more cookie than me. But you have one more toy car than Krong has, so huh? it's even. Well, that's... <laughs> huh? Okay. <laughs> I found it. Uh, Here. Uh, it's another toy car. <laughs> now, Krong has one more toy car, so he has one, two, three, three cars. Hororo also has one, two, three, three toy cars. So you both have the same number of toy cars. <laughs> Krong, let's make up and be friends again. <laughs> Okay, now I'll give Pororo one more cookie. Pororo has four plus one cookies. He has one, two, three, four, five. Five cookies in all. And Krong also has five cookies, so you both have five cookies each. Let's see. Oh, wow, these are delicious. Now let's all sing the acting song. <laughs>
Let's share equally. It's early morning. Let's see what Loopy is doing. <laughs> Yum! They're perfect. <laughs> oh, she's making yummy tarts. Hello, <laughs> Loopy! <laughs> oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you. <laughs> we smelled something good while passing by. <laughs> Uh -oh. You mean these? They're sweet pumpkin tarts. You can share oh. them if you want. Really? Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, not fair, Krong. You took more than me. <laughs> no way. No. You should share the tarts uh, equally. I'm sorry. Uh, but how many do you each get to make it equal? Ah, I can help you find the answer. Problem. If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right. I'm the smartest fox around. My name is Eddie. <laughs> there's a total of four tarts. One for me, one for Krong, another one for me, another for Krong. By splitting the four tarts into groups of two, we each get an equal share. Oh, I get it. Okay, two for Eddie and two for Krong. Happy now? Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's so yummy. <laughs> Oh! Hey, are you guys eating without us? We're hungry too, you know. <laughs> I'll whip something up. Ta da! Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna eat more than you, Krong. Krong? 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 But you already ate! Bordado, you should share equally. Equally? Uh -huh. But how do we do that when there are so many? Um, not sure. <laughs> I'll help you. There's a total of eight cookies. One for me, one for Krong, one for Bororo, one for Petty. Another one for me, for Krong, for Bororo, and for Petty. By splitting the eight cookies into groups of two, we each get an equal share. That's wonderful. Thank you, Luffy! <laughs> I wish I could have more. <laughs> You're still hungry after all that food? <laughs> Just tell me what you guys want to eat. I'll make it for you right now. Really? Okay, sandwiches. <laughs> no prob. Loopy is making sandwiches for her friends. Next one. Oh. Huh? I ran out of bread. What do I do? Oh. I only had enough to make two. What? But there are four of us here. <laughs> Hold on, you guys. Oh. We may have just two, but we can split them four ways equally. What? Huh? How, Eddie? Okay, there are two square sandwiches. But since there are four of us, we need four sandwiches. So, if we cut the two sandwiches each in half, ta-da! We get four sandwiches! <laughs> Hope you enjoy it! Thanks! <laughs> it's yummy, Lily! Now, let's review with a fun song! Share, 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 let's all share equally! Sharing six candies among the three of us! One, two! Sharing eight strawberries among the four of us. One, two. Two each. Half, half, half. Let's all cut them in half. Sharing two sandwiches by cutting them both in half. One, two, three, four. Four. Wow, that was so fun. Goodbye. <laughs> See you all next time. 
spot the difference. It's a sunny afternoon. What's Loopy doing? <laughs> One more pet around. I'm done. Yeah. I think I'll go for a walk. <laughs> it looks like Loopy's friends have come for a visit. Loopy! Mm, she must have gone out. What is it, Crawl? Crawl. Whoa! Loopy must have painted this. But guys, I don't think the paint is dry yet. Ah, you messed up her painting! What do we do? Loopy's gonna be upset. Um, how about we paint the same exact picture? That's a great idea! Yeah! <laughs> Finished! They're exactly the same, right? Oh, I think yours is a bit different from Loopy's. What's different? Hi, guys! <gasps> what a surprise! <laughs> Hello! What are you doing here? Ah, we were looking at your painting. Uh, it's very pretty. Really? <laughs> Thanks! Oh. Huh? That's strange. This painting is different from mine. D different? Oh, I know. This painting has only one, two, two clouds. But my painting had one, two, three, three clouds. And the flower is yellow here. But my flower was red. What's going on? Oh, well, um... Girl, girl, girl. We're sorry, Luby. We tried to replace what we ruined, but... It's okay. Actually, it was fun looking for the differences. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Want to play the What's Different game? Okay. <laughs> Problem. If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> now, let's begin the What's Different game! Yay! Now, puzzle number one. Find what's different between the two pictures. Look carefully. Have you found them? Girl? Ah, the sails on the boats are different in shape. One is a square, the other is a triangle. Yes, that's correct. But there is still one more thing that's different. Shark! Yes, that's correct. The sharks in the pictures are different. Okay, time for puzzle number two. There are four things that are different between the two pictures. Look carefully. The moon shapes are different. The colors of the trains, too. Ah, the number of mountains is different, too. You are all correct. First, one moon is a crescent moon, and the other is a full moon. One train is yellow, and the other is blue. On the left, there's one mountain, and on the right, there are two. Remember, there's still one more difference left. Look carefully. Oh, okay, can't find it. it. Huh? Are you serious? On the left, I'm on the train, but on the right, I'm not. How could you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> We're just teasing you, Eddie. Is, is that true? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should have known. Now, let's all review with a fun song. Okay. What is, what is, what is different? Found it. The clouds and flowers are different. What is, what is, what is different? Found it! The seals and the sharks are different. What is, what is, what is different? Found it! The moon, strings, mountains, and Eddie are different. Let's all play the What's Different game together! Yeah! yeah. Oh. <laughs> How many are there? 
Pororo and his friends are visiting Eddie's house. Guys are all here. Where's Eddie? He's probably inside the house. Really? Eddie! Huh? Hi, come on inside. Huh? Huh? Something strange with the door. Oh. 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 Ta -da. Wow. <laughs> Welcome. Today, we'll all play the adding game together. There are one, two, three, four, five, five blocks here. If you add one more block, how many blocks are there? Why don't we find out? Five plus one is one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six blocks in all. Oh, so that's it. Now here's the next question. If you add four bananas with two bananas, how many do you have? One, two, three, oh, six. There are six bananas. Four plus two is one, two, three, four, five, six. Bingo, you're correct. If you add six oranges with one orange, how many do you have? Bingo, you're correct. <laughs> now, if you add five pencils with two more pencils, how many are there? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven pencils in all. <laughs> Good work. Now I'll give you the next question. If you add seven airplanes with one more airplane, how many are there? Oh, I know. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight airplanes. Huh? You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. If you add five fish with three more fish, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fish in all. That was <laughs> excellent, Pororo. <laughs> that was as easy as a pie. <laughs> now, here's the next question. There are eight flowers. If you add one more flower, how many flowers are there in all? Mm, uh, I know. If you add eight flowers with one more flower, you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine flowers in all. You're correct. If you add seven chicks with two more chicks, you'll also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine chicks in all. Now, here's the final question. If you add nine cars of a train with one more car, how many cars will you have? Mm, I know. Huh? Nine plus one equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten cars in all. That's right. If you add eight with two, you'll also get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten in all. Now, let's sing a song about today's lesson. Let's all play the adding game. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. If you add four and two, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's all play the adding game. If you add six and one, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you add five and two, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
forgot the most. Aurora's friends are all together at his house. Shall we join them? You want us to put these in the baskets? That's right. Whoever puts the most balls into their basket wins. Oh, okay. So we just have to get the most in? Yeah. Get ready! Go! Now, time's up! Let's try counting the balls you've put into your baskets. Why don't we count Hobie's first? Here you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Poby put ten balls into his basket. Good work! <laughs> <It's just nothing. laughs> Next, we'll count Pototos. Here you go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's one more ball. So I have one more <laughs> ball than you. That's right. <laughs> so how many is ten balls plus one? Huh? I'll tell uh -oh. you. <laughs> you have ten balls and one more ball on top of that. So ten plus one equals eleven balls. I see. <laughs> Next, let's count Krong's balls. <laughs> There's ten. And then you have one, two, two more balls. Krong, Krong, Krong! He has more balls than me. <laughs> How many balls is that in all? Krong, Krong! Huh? Eddie the Clever Fox will tell you. There's ten balls, plus two more balls. Ten plus two equals twelve balls in all. <laughs> That's a lot! Next, it's Loopy's turn. Here you go. <laughs> Let's take a look. There's ten, and one, two, three, three more balls. That means that I have more balls than Crumb. <laughs> Sorry. There's ten balls and three more balls. Ten plus three equals thirteen balls in all. Wow, I've got lots of balls! Next, it's Patty's turn. Here you are. Thanks. There's ten balls. And one, two, three, four, five. Five more balls on top of that. You have more balls than me. You're lucky. Oh, it's nothing. So, how many balls is that in all? I'll tell you. Okay. I have ten balls plus five more balls. Ten plus five equals fifteen balls in all. Good work, Petty. Petty has the most balls until now. Finally, it's Rody's turn. Okay, here you oh, go. Thank you. There's ten balls and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, there's ten more. How many balls do I have in all? Why don't we find out? There are ten balls and another ten balls. Ten plus ten equals twenty balls in all. The winner of the game is... Rory! Congratulations! Thank you. Now, why don't we sing a song about today's lesson? Let's all play the numbers game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.
hide and seek. Today, the friends are playing in the playground. Hello. Hello. Huh? Where's Eddie? Oh, oh. He's not here yet. Hey, let's play hide and seek until he gets here. Okay. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Krong is it. <laughs> We're going to go hide now, Krong. Krong, <laughs> Krong, Krong. Krong. Oh, where should I hide? Okay, this way. What? <laughs> Can you hide somewhere else, Loopy? Yeah. This is a good spot. Well, we got here first. Sorry, better find another spot. Yeah, okay. You won't find me here. <laughs> oh, Loopy, this spot's taken. Oh. Well, fine, it's all yours. Grung, grung. Grung, grung. Oh no, there's nowhere for me to hide. Loopy! I don't get it. Why can't we hide together? What? You want me to tell you where they're hiding? Better find another spot. This spot's taken. Okay. Butterdell is way over there. Poby is that way. Oh, and Petty's over this way. It's not easy to explain. Hi, guys! Yeah. Hello. Hello! Hello, what are you doing? Playing hide and seek. I'm trying to tell Krong where everyone's hiding, but it's hard to explain. Then let me, Eddie the Clever Fox, help you! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> Eyes front, guys. It's easy to explain where friends or objects are if you know some simple positional words. Positional? Yes. Now, in front of behind will be the first words. Here is a sofa. Kororo is in front of the sofa. And Krong is behind the sofa. Okay, inside, outside are the next words. If you're in a place like a house, inside. If you're out of the house, then you're outside. Now Harry is inside the house. And now Harry is outside the house. Ah, in a place inside, out of a place outside. Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. Last but not least, we'll all learn about next to. Here are some flowers. Next to them is a tree. And next to the flowers on the other side is Loopy. Then am I next to Krong right now? Krong, Krong. Yeah. Yes, that's uh -huh. correct. Uh -huh. Do you want to review with a song? Yeah. <laughs> found all of his friends. Krong found all of us? Yes, so. How did Krong find us so easily? Beats me. <laughs> Something's fishy. Let's play again. Like Loopy, now you can explain where your friends are. How 
much do I put in? Ororo is on his way to Loopy's house. Hi, Loopy. <laughs> Hello, Bordero. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm making some food to eat with our friends. Really? Do you need any help? <laughs> Actually, I do. Thanks for asking. <laughs> what do you need me to do? Um, I'm going to make a salad so you can make the bread. Sounds fine. Now, to make the dough, I need to put in flour. But how much do I put in? Loopy, how much flour do I need to use? Um, since we have lots of friends, you'll need to use a lot. Now next, I'll need some water and some sugar. <laughs> hey, Loopy, yeah. how much water and sugar do I use? Use just enough water, and you don't want it too sweet, so just a little sugar. Aha! Okie dokie! <laughs> I did what Loopy said, so it'll be good. <laughs> wow! wow. It was yummy! Uh, Hope, Hope you enjoy it! it. Thanks! Mm. Mm. Wow, it's good! <laughs> so good! <laughs> Loopy's the one who huh? made the salad. <laughs> yummy <laughs> as usual! <laughs> I want to try the bread. Uh, Me too. Uh, Dig in. I made the bread. Uh, 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 what's wrong? Is it bad? Uh, crack, crack. Uh, it's too sweet. Uh, yeah. And it's limp and mushy. Uh, it is. What? Impossible. I just followed Loopy's directions. Did you give me the wrong recipe? How dare you? Uh, but I know. Are you sure you followed my directions correctly? Uh -huh. Hold on, you guys. Loopy, what were your directions to Bororo for the bread? Um, oh. use a lot of flour, just enough water, and just a little uh -huh. bit of sugar. That's right. Hmm? And I put in exactly what Loopy told me to. I think I know why the bread tasted so bad. Problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is... Eddie! <laughs> okay, when you're describing amounts, words like little and a lot don't really give you a clear picture of the exact amount you need. Then what, what do, do we, we do, do, Eddie? For uncountable things like sugar, you need to use tools like a spoon so you can count the exact amount. A spoon? Here's some sugar. Here's a spoon. Now, let's take out some sugar with the spoon. One spoon. This is one spoonful. One spoon. Two spoons. This is two spoonfuls. If you say how many spoonfuls it is, then you can give the exact amount. Oh! That's so easy. The bread needs one spoonful of sugar. <laughs> I think I put in about three spoonfuls. Oh, I have a question. To make the dough, you need a lot of water and flour. So we use a tiny spoon for those two? Mm. Loopy, how much water do I need? Uh, ten spoonfuls. Ten, ten spoonfuls? Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> like that? Whoa. That's tiring. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh. You don't have to worry. For things like water, when you need a large amount, you can use tools that are bigger than a spoon. Like this cup, for example. You use the cup just like the spoon. Let's take out some flour with the cup. One cup. This is one cupful. One cup. Two cups. This is two cupfuls. Oh, it's so easy. Yeah. You want to review what we learned with a song? Okay. okay! One, two, three. For all things uncountable, you can use a tool to help. Use a cup for flour. Use a spoon for sugar. One cup, two cups, three cups. One spoonful, two spoonfuls. For all things uncountable, can be made countable. For amounts that are unclear, can be made very clear. <laughs> <Yay! Yay! laughs> Bye, friends. See you next time. 
Escape the maze! Bororo and Crow must be lost. <laughs> oh, 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 where on earth are we? Huh? Oh, huh? Look, huh? there's something over there. <laughs> it's a maze! Oh no, Bororo and Krong are trapped in a maze. How do we get huh? out of here? Want me to help you? Huh? Who, who was that? <laughs> I'm the fairy of the maze. Oh, he's <laughs> just Eddie. I'm not Eddie. I'm a fairy. I came to help you escape. Really? Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at this map. <laughs> to escape the maze, you must pass through a crossroad, a wild river, and a strong brick wall. And this crossroad here is your first challenge. There is a number for both paths. Take the path with the higher number. Which is higher, two or four? Oh. Aha! Two has two bread rolls, four has four bread rolls. Since four has more bread rolls, four is the higher number. That's correct! Uh-oh. Bororo and Krong are at their second challenge. Whoa! How are we gonna get across? Uh, uh, a stepstone bridge! <laughs> Krong, let's cross here! Uh -huh. Careful! Uh -huh. This stone bridge will sink if you cross recklessly. Sink? Uh -huh. Then what do we do? Uh -huh. Don't worry. Uh -huh. The bridge has many different shaped stones, but only the circle and square stones are safe. Wow, good to know, huh? Krong, let's go. Circle, square, circle, square, circle, square. Hoi! Ororo and Krong have made it safely across. Oh, a passageway. <laughs> Red-colored bricks? If you match the two bricks with the same number, the bricks will disappear. Once you get rid of all the red bricks, you can pass through the wall. Wow, great! <laughs> Hold on. How do we know which bricks have the same number? I'll explain it to you. Okay, on the left, there's one apple. On the right, there are two. But now there's one more apple on the left. Is the number of apples on both sides the same or different? Um, the same. That's correct. One plus one is two. So both sides have the same number. Now, I'll leave you guys to it. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> one plus one is two. Wow, the bricks really disappeared. Wow! Yeah. One plus two is... Krong, find the number three quick. Good job, Krong! You only have two more bricks now. Press them! Two plus two is... Four! Wow! Congrats! You've passed all three challenges. So you can go home. Really? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Let's go home! <laughs> oh no! Here
everyone is gathered at the playground. Harry's door was broken because the doorknob came loose. You guys! Huh? It's Pluto and Crumb! Uh, <laughs> wow, what pretty balloons! Krong, could you give me one? Uh, Krong, if you give her a balloon, I'll blow one for you later on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Krong, thank you! Oh, the balloon floated away! Krong. If there are two balloons, but one floats away, how many are left? If one balloon out of two balloons floats away... You don't know the answer? Then I'll tell you! <laughs> problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest boss around. My name is... Eddie! Let's find out. If you have two balloons, but one floats away, you'll have one balloon left. Oh, there are three fish here, but one fish goes away. So how many fish are left? Mm -hmm. I know, huh? me. If there are three fish, but one fish goes away, there's one, two, two fish left. That's right. Then what if there are three fish, but two fish go away? How many are left? Huh? I'll solve this problem. Huh? If there are three fish, but two fish go away, there's only one fish left. That's right. What if there are three fish, but all three fish go away? How many are left? Huh? <laughs> oh, I know this one. <laughs> if there are three fish, but all three fish go away, there are no fish left. So, it's zero. Whoa, excellent work, Pororo. Now, here's the next question. If there are four cars, but one car goes away, how many are left? <laughs> I know. Huh? Rody, you answer it. <laughs> if there are four cars, but one car goes away, there are one, two, three, three cars left. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> and if there are four cars, but two cars go away, there are two cars left. Also, four minus three equals one, and four minus four equals zero. Wow! <laughs> Now, if you have five buns, but you eat three, how many do you have left? I know! Kororo! <laughs> Ta-da! If you have five buns, but if you eat three of them like this, you'll have one, two. Two left! My, that was delicious! If you have five buns, but you eat four of them, you'll have one bun left. And if you have five buns... Okay, I think Krong should answer the last question. Krong! Okay, Krong, you do it. Five buns. And you eat them all. There's none. That's right. And since there's none, that's zero. Good work, Krong. Now, let's sing a song about today's lesson. Play the subtracting game. One, two, three, four. Take one from four and it's three. Take two from four and it's two. Take three from four and it's one. Take four from four and it's zero. Find the same objects. 
Roro's friends have gathered at his home. Let's see what they're up to. Oh, Kororo is reading a book. Reunited with his mommy and daddy penguin. Hug. The mommy and daddy penguin gave the baby penguin a big hug. Kororo! Huh? Kororo! <laughs> Come on in! Huh? Welcome, Eddie! Wow! Hello! <laughs> You're all here! Were you reading a book? <laughs> That's right! <laughs> I've also brought a book along. Wow, that was fun! <gasps> read it to us! Yeah! Uh, I think Kobe should read the book. <laughs> Here. Oh, let's see. Bob Bear. Bob was bored of playing by himself. So he called his friend Levy. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Levy. It's Bob. Can I come over to your place? Of course. So, uh, where is your house? My house is the yellow one above your house. Huh? The yellow house above my house? Then, which house is it? Don't you know the answer? How about everyone else? I don't know either. Huh? No one knows the answer? Then I'll tell you! <laughs> problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest fox around. My name is Eddie! First, let's find all the yellow houses in the book. How many yellow houses are there in all? One, two, one. Oh, there are four houses. Four houses? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four houses. You're right. <laughs> Ta-da! It's the yellow house above Bob's house. Ooh. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> oh, I see. Levy? Yes? Come on in, Bob. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> You're welcome. Kobe, uh, could you please keep reading? <laughs> oh, okay. Bob went over to Levy's place. There Hooray! were many of Hooray! Bob's favorite toys there. Wow, there are lots of teddy bears here. They're my favorite. Would you mm -hmm. like to play with the teddy bears? Mm -hmm. There are lots of teddy bears here. Do you know how many there are in all? Hmm. There are one, two. Oh, I don't know. We'll help you, Bob. Huh? Can you tell us how many teddy bears there are? One, one two. two. Oh, oh, there are five teddy bears. One, two, three, four, and five. There are five teddies. Correct. Uh, <laughs> there are five teddy bears in all. I see. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. Then how many stuffed rabbits are there? One, two, I know. <laughs> there are six in all. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six stuffed rabbits. Six? You're right. Finally, how many stuffed elephants are there in all? I know! There are seven of them! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Seven elephants in all! <laughs> that is correct! Now let's sing a song about today's lesson! Wow. <laughs> Look at all these pretty little dolls! How many poodles can you find? One, two, three! Three in all! What's next? 
there's Pororo and his friends. <laughs> Meanwhile, Loopy and Rody made buns for their friends. Haha, <laughs> they're done! <laughs> I'll help you carry them. Thank you! <laughs> hi yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. It's time to eat! Oh, <laughs> 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 oh I got you left! <laughs> Each person gets one bun and one glass of milk. Yeah. Here you go, Eddie. And that oh. a lot. Here, Crow. I was so busy playing that I didn't even know you made buns. All right. Bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs> and finally, it's Booby's mm -hmm. up. We're all out of buns. That's Whoa. strange. I made enough for everyone. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. <laughs> problem! If there's a problem, we'll solve it. If you use your head, there's no problem you can't solve. That's right! I'm the smartest boss around. My name is Eddie! Everyone, place your bun on one side and your glass of milk on the other. The bun on one side and the milk on the other. <laughs> Let's see. Bun, milk, bun, milk, bun, bun. Huh? Well, something strange. <laughs> Krong gives one of his buns to Poby. Let's try that again. Bun, milk, bun, milk, bun, milk, bun, milk, and finally, bun, milk. Now everyone has a bun and a glass of milk. Next, let's try something else. Car, train, car, train, car. Then what comes next? I'll tell you. Car, train, car, train, car. Next is train. That's right. Let's try something a little different this time. Star, star, moon. Then it's star, star, moon again. So what should come next? Uh, hmm. Oh, I know. Star, star, moon. Then star, star, moon. So it's star. Good work, Poby. Now I'll give you the next question. Bear, bear, rabbit. Bear, bear, rabbit. Bear, bear, then what should come next? Oh, I know! Bear, bear, rabbit. Bear, bear, rabbit. Bear, bear, then it's rabbit next. Excellent work, Petty. Okay, now let's try something a little more difficult. There's yellow, yellow, then red, red. Then yellow, yellow. So what should come next? Oh. oh, don't be confused. I'll explain. There's two yellows and two reds. Then there should be two more yellows and two more reds. So this balloon should be red. Oh, I see. <laughs> now I'll give you the next question. There's triangle, triangle, square, square, and triangle, triangle again. What shape should come next? Oh, I know! <laughs> triangle, triangle, square, square, then triangle, triangle again. Next, it should be square! I'm right! <laughs> wow! Okay, now, why don't we sing a song? <laughs> Star, star, moon, star, star. 